I've just about had enough of this. Are you done yet? Are you done acting a fool? You know what? Ben, I don't know why I even bother. All right, YouTube users, I have to say, first and foremost, that uh, I'm just going to come out and say this, okay, um, at the risk of sounding like a, like a huge Sony fanboy, which uh, I just, I really think Steve Jobs shouldn't have died. And and let me let me just clarify as to what I mean by this. Um, it seems as though ever since Steve Jobs' death, Microsoft has been doing everything they can to pretty much get out of the software and hardware business entirely. And it just seems like nothing they're doing is working with the uh, Xbox One, with their E3, with the assholes they're hiring to promote their E3, and then uh, after the launch, <laughs> ordered the wrong disk drive much, um, fucking <laughs> not used to outsourcing, uh, I mean, it's just disgusting, and I honestly, I get so sick of people saying, oh, well, this guy's, a, this guy's a Sony fanboy, and this guy's Sony fanboy, when, if you look at the facts, and you look at all of these fuck-ups, these just horrible, disingenuous fuck-ups, between trying to kick your fucking Xbox Live account, for cursing on a feature that they're not even offering you yet. Uh, we're off it later and then wide, so on, so on. Between that, the DRM bullshit that they pulled earlier on you, which is, which by the way, I don't think is over yet. They say it is. But all these disk drives? I'm just willing to bet money on this. That eventually, eventually, they're gonna say, we'll, we'll give them the disk drives, they'll have faulty disk drives, and then we'll bring them all back. We'll replace them, and then those disk drives will fail, and we'll just say fuck it all together, and we'll go back to the original plan, and they won't have any choice because they'll be like, well, we're vindicated. Honestly, I think that it's, they're, they're, it's just stupid. Everything Microsoft has done thus far has shown nothing but extreme arrogance in the wake of one of their competitors, uh, literally CEO losses. Um, so they think they're off the chain, that they have no, you know, no one's gonna hold them down. <laughs> Sony? <laughs> they make TVs. Sony Vile. I mean, they just, they make TVs. They don't make computers or anything. Bio. I mean, we... We know that they don't do anything other than that, so we're in the clear. Not to mention that they made their fucking system before we did. The PlayStation has been around since fucking Dreamcast times, people. Since before that. PlayStation was around when N64 was around. So the only true competitor to Sony, I guess Microsoft has got to realize this by now, is literally fucking Nintendo, which... has made the Wii U. Yeah. Um, moving on to the actual, you know, things going on right now, it just seems really pointless <laughs> to call a Sony, even if he is a Sony fanboy, I don't give a shit, to call a Sony fanboy a Sony fanboy because he likes the better system. Because he likes the better product line from the get-go. I'd have to say, fuck you, you know, entirely. Like, you guys, you Sony fanboys, 
fucking wear that title with pride, man. Wear that title with pride, because Microsoft is, like, it's like, they're making it easier for Sony right now. And, and you guys, you're making it harder for them to make it easier. Just let them die out like they want to. And I, I believe that that is what they want to do. <laughs> because nowhere in any marketing strategy forum or fucking even design major, no one with any of these credentials would allow such a catastrophe to happen. It's fucking laughable. It's fucking laughable. And there's a guy on the YouTube, apparently, he crushed an Xbox. Dude, I get it. It's not because you're showing off, or no, no, he crushed a PS3. He's pissed. Well, when you're on top, it people want you down. They want to, you know, take you down. So I, I get that. He's He's pissed. Because he doesn't, you know, like the fact that the, the game system that he was truly a fanboy is getting not just annihilated, but straight up date raped and, and just fucking <laughs> disrespected uh, by this conquering dominion that is Sony right now. And that is really how I feel about it. I, I feel... As if they're only, but the sad thing is, I feel as if they're only a conquering dominion because they've been given the race. I feel like that Microsoft, I, I honestly feel that after last year's fuck up, or not last year's, last gen's fuck up, my bad, last gen's fuck up, when Microsoft got found out, I have a feeling, I just, I feel like. They met in a dark room bus somewhere, and they're like, look, we wronged you guys. Because, literally, Microsoft really got ahead of the race with the Xbox 360. Hands down, they fucking won that shit. But, they didn't win it on safe grounds. Every time you turned a system in to the actual Walmart that you bought it from, or the Target you bought it from, or the GameStop you bought it from, and you got one back, that counted as a sell for Microsoft, not a replacement. However, when you returned it directly to Microsoft, they had no choice but to take in the inventory and actually replace it, which also counted as an actual replacement. That was only if you sent the system to, Sony, to, to Microsoft. Uh, now... <laughs> When the slimline for the PS3 came out, they practically said, this. You know, we've already taken the losses on the system. And they give you the manual with it that pretty much says, build it yourself. You know, if you need to replace this, this is what it uses, this is what it needs, this is where you can get your OS. You can fix it yourself and, you know, have at it. We, we respect you. It's all good. Don't, don't try to unlock it, though. Don't try to unlock that, that damn thing. We still got surprises for you, so don't try to unlock that. But no, seriously, I mean, Microsoft won, but they won a crooked fucking show. They run a really crooked show. They won through a fucking loophole, and so I really feel like, I feel like at this point, that I literally, I do, I can, I can almost envision them meeting in the back room somewhere. Look, we've got a new race coming on. We fucked you over the last race, so we're going to give this one to you. Because, honestly, I don't see any fucking other way they could be fucking up so fucking phenomenally. Just, just, wow. Just, like, they are, they're fucking up. They're fucking up in so many ways that it's amusing. I mean... This is like classic slip and trip on a banana pill type of comedy and music, okay? Because it's just nowhere in any type of feasible market could this even be construed as a positive construct for marketing a next-gen console. Oh, God. Their system, they overcomplexified it. They rushed the delivery. Now, here's the thing. If you're going to change your entire OS, you're going to remove fucking hard uh, software coding from your system. 
and it needs to be released a little bit later. I'm sure the Xbox guys, the lo the guys who love your system, they won't mind waiting a couple fucking months to get a good working fucking system. I know I wouldn't if Microsoft said, yo, yo, we fucked up somewhere. But this is what we're going to do. It's going to take us a little time. I know you guys are upset, but we want you guys to have a functioning system. I would understand that. And I would feel respected for someone trying to sell me something that works as opposed to a piece of shit. Because that's what everyone is getting sold right now. And why? Because they assume that we are impatient, which we are. We like, we like gaming when we want a game. And I get that. But we have a system that we can do that on right now. Be it Xbox 360 or fucking PS3. We have the technology. So if we need a game, we can suffice with these for a few months while these fucking guys get their shit together. While you guys get your shit in order. You know? I have no fucking problem speaking from one gamer. I started with Atari 2600. I started with fucking, you know, that fucking Apple II. Okay? Treasure Cove and shit, okay? I love gaming. So as, a, as that type of core gamer that started way early and progressed as time went on. Someone who stuck by you through all the bullshit and all the tritony. I can speak for gamers. And I can tell you that they're not that fucking impatient. In fact, it might give them a little more time to save up that money so that they could have their shiny new console. But one thing you don't do is sell a faulty system and expect for people to just buy into it and not have any flack later on down the line. It might be a stable market right now, but mark my words, it's not going to be for long if this shit keeps So you fucking Sony fanboys, take your wins, take your losses. You Xbox fanboys, take your wins, take your losses. This is a message directly to the corporations themselves. You want to succeed? Be a success. Peace. Xenexia 2013 out.